Have you ever wondered what kind of effort goes into growing small trees out so that you can plant them? Well, you would be surprised at some of the ingenious things that people have come up with to grow out trees. So I'm here with Eric Cooler at Metro Water Services in Nashville to find out about this really cool system. Yeah, right. So we've got this initiative of planting half a million trees in Davidson County over uh, the next 30 years, by 2050. Uh, trees can get expensive. And so um, we were looking for ways to come in with smaller trees that are less expensive, uh, that we can plant more of them. And so when I was with the Forest Service, we worked on this project of uh, growing trees in gravel beds to grow basically the root systems. And then um, come August or September, we can take these trees out with full of leaves and, um, and outplant them. Well, let's take a look at this because this looks like a huge above ground bed, but I understand that's actually a hydroponic system. So what yeah. all has gone into this? Right, so basically it, it is, it's above ground system. Um, we're, we're, we're using uh, just a, a basic form uh, to hold rocks in place. And then um, we're just gonna dribble water through here four times a day for about 10 or 15 minutes each, each cycle. And that water will just kind of make its way through the rocks and deeper in the profile, um, everything will stay moist so that uh, the roots will have water uh, to, to take up. And um, there's plenty of oxygen down there. Roots love oxygen. And so we've got uh, plenty of pore space down there for oxygen. And we've got the ability to kind of hold on to water so that uh, the roots can uh, have access to the water. And so you're right, it's just a big hydroponic system. This is fascinating. So you've got gravel, you've got soaker hoses, and you've got bare root trees that you put in. Right, yeah. So we've, we're using bare root trees. Uh, typically, smaller trees uh, adapt very well to uh, their environment when you, when you plant them out. And uh, so that's the reason why we go with smaller trees. The survivability rate on this, when we did this with the Forest Service, uh, we, we did 100 trees and 81 of them survived. So the survivability rate on these trees was fantastic. Uh, smaller trees adapt real well to, to their environment and they tend to survive much better. So typically when I see volunteers out planting trees, they have, um, you know, the trucks come by and they get that huge bald and burlap uh, yeah. tree that takes, you know, most of the neighborhood to lift and move. So now there's no right. soil in here. So there's, what happens when they come out? Right, there's no soil. So um, when we do extract these trees, um, we're basically just gonna shake the rocks off because those roots aren't gonna hold on to these rocks. And we're just gonna have a, a tree with fibrous roots and we can have um, the, the, the little kids carrying these trees wherever they need to go. And so um, it doesn't take a lot of heavy equipment. So this is such a really great uh, system of growing trees. So you have the partnership with all the volunteers, with all the uh, nonprofit organizations. And then we're in a very interesting place here as part of our partnership as well. Yeah, we're working with uh, the Davidson County Sheriff's Office. They are uh, working with us and, and, and letting us use some of their land to, uh, to put this bed. Uh, they work very closely with a lot of the nonprofits, the tree planting nonprofits. So uh, when it comes time to extract these trees this, uh, at the end of the summer, uh, we'll invite all of them out. We'll have the sheriff's office out here and it'll, it'll just be a big party when we're taking these trees out. <laughs> this is so exciting. Now like with other hydroponic systems, are you going to need to add any kind of special fertilizers or additives to that water? Yeah, we will. Um, we'll add a little bit of slow release uh, fertilizer, complete fertilizer in here. We'll get some um, Osmocote or some type of uh, slow release um, complete fertilizer to, to put in here just to augment what the trees will need. Because they're only gonna be in here for six to eight months, they don't need a lot of fertilizer. In fact, well, maybe uh, if you put too much fertilizer out here, those, those roots may not grow as well as we would like for them to because they have too much nitrogen. So uh, we'll just have to monitor that. We will put in, uh, like I said, some slow release fertilizer um, here in April or May just to, just to augment a little bit so that the trees don't go chlorotic. 
So y'all have put this work into growing these trees. They're gonna be nice and easy for everybody to carry around and plant. So right. we want them to succeed and, and live once they're planted. So what kind of tips do you have for somebody that gets a new tree, especially in the fall, and puts it in? Yeah, so especially if it's bare root, the thing that I would most stress is that those roots need to stay moist. So um, it could be uh, warm later in the summer and early fall and so uh, those roots can dry out. So if somehow you can get them into um, a white plastic bag with uh, some uh, wet material in there, I say white, you don't want black because black will heat up with the sunshine. If you get to keep the trees out of the sunshine, that would even be better. Uh, so anything that would stress the tree, like uh, the heat and, and the sun uh, may not uh, be best but uh, basically just keeping those roots moist and then when you do put them in the uh, in the ground um, fill that hole up with water uh, before you plant the tree and let that that water kind of soak into the soil around there you know moisture is is really what we need for the for these trees early on so you get your tree in you've got it nice and moist and we still can't just walk away and leave it and declare it done, oh, can we? Yeah, we cannot, right. So once we get the soil back over the roots, um, we'll want to mulch it with uh, two to four inches of, of organic mulch. I'm a big fan of wood chips. Uh, so put two to four inches of wood chips over the, the planting hole and then come back weekly at least and put about five to 10 gallons of water on that tree. So one of the really amazing things about this Root Nashville program and all these great partners like the Davidson County Sheriff's Office and all of our volunteers is that we're growing trees for everybody. And I see from all these tags, you have a lot of different kinds of trees in here. I don't want anyone to think that there's not a tree for me. So what, what's an example of a small tree? I don't have much room. Yeah, right. So we've got some Eastern Redbud in here. We've got some uh, American Hornbeam. Those tend to be understory trees. You find them um, under the, the mature uh, canopy of, of larger trees and forests. I've uh, got some black gum out here. And I think that's probably uh, the, the three of the small trees that we have. But then we also have some of the, the larger, uh, more mature uh, overstory trees, oaks and yellow poplar and um, trying to think of what else we have out here. But it's, you know, we've, we, we've got a majority of, of the, the larger statured trees and we've got some of the smaller statured trees. The idea here is uh, to create that overstory and then put some understory in there to maximize stormwater uh, volume reduction. Oh, wait, let's talk a little bit about that. Stormwater volume reduction. So um, one of the reasons I know to plant a lot of trees is the idea that it's going to help us with what happens when it rains. So talk a little bit more about how these trees are helping us. Yeah, so these trees are, uh, literally green stormwater infrastructure. So as these trees get older, uh, they put on a lot of leaves and uh, the leaf surface area intercepts rainfall. And so it, it prevents um, some water from going off into the storm system. But also once that water does get into the soil, then it wicks that water out of the soil so that we can put more stormwater into the soil. So these trees are, are, are working for us uh, to help uh, with water quality and to reduce the amount of stormwater runoff that we have here in Middle Tennessee, especially in Davidson County. Oh yes, yeah. so you know this is such a wonderful project because by growing all of these little trees, especially in this small space here, which is so impressive, knowing that they're going to go out into people's lawns and out into the parks, out into um, along the sides of the roads, this is something that is a small investment really in the future of our city for absolutely everybody. Absolutely, these trees are gonna work hard for us over the next 30, 40, 50 years. Think really hard about what trees might fit in your landscaping. Remember, like Eric said, there really is a tree for everybody. Maybe it's a small one, maybe it's one that's going to tower over everything in the future. But look around, find a good tree, and once you do, take really good care of it because it's going to take care of us. For inspiring garden tours, growing tips, and garden projects, visit our website at volunteergardener.org or on YouTube at the Volunteer Gardener channel and like us on Facebook.